Section 4.8, Congruence Transformations. A transformation is ways to change or move an object that creates an image of the original figure. The notation we'll use is an arrow to represent that a shape has undergone a transformation. For example, I can do what's called a reflection such that triangle ABC is transformed into triangle XYZ. And a lot of times you'll actually see the notation be that we use A prime B prime C prime so that it is easier to see what the original vertices were and how they correspond or connect to our new shape. We have three transformations that we'll look at, each of which results in an image that is congruent to the original shape. The first one is a reflection in a horizontal line. We get a, what's called a flipped orientation, which means we get a mirror image across a line, and the line can be placed anywhere. Let's take a moment, and we're going to play with GeoGebra a little bit. If I have triangle. And I can make this triangle any side I, size I want. And then I have a line. I can reflect the triangle across the line. Why aren't you working? Okay. There we go. And let's change the color so that this is a little bit more obvious. Okay. So we have triangle A, B, C that was transformed into triangle A prime B prime C prime. And I can see as I move my line, it does change where the image is placed. But it is always going to be a reflection of the blue triangle across our line. Notice we do get an overlap sometimes. Because if C starts on the right side, it's flips to the left side of our line. If A starts on the left, it's flipped onto the right. You can play with this a little bit if you want to. But that is what it means to have a reflection. We are literally creating a mirror image across a given line. Okay. The next one is a rotation, and it's a rotation about a point. Now notice with reflection, we get the mirror image, we get the flipped image of the triangle. When we rotate, we'll see that we get the same orientation. And I'll show you what that looks like in GeoGebra in a moment. But what a rotation is, it's as if the shape was slid around the edge of a circle. So let's take a look at what that looks like. 